Ireland is a, an advanced manufacturing economy which has got really strong industries and really to ensure that we can support those industries and they can grow uh, we really need to have world-class material science research active within the country. So really what CRAN is doing is fulfilling that mandate, it's bringing together fantastic researchers, fantastic infrastructure and linking them to that strong research base that we have within the country. CRAN is a 10 year old Nanoscience Institute. It draws on researchers from across Trinity and indeed from across Ireland. We now have two facilities. The first purpose-built national research facility in Ireland where we have some of the world's best microscopy facilities. The Advanced Microscopy Laboratory, uh, a clean room facility, uh, an ultra-fast photonics laboratory, uh, a nanobiological facility. Over 40 companies regularly use the infrastructure today. There's real infrastructure and a huge investment associated with CRAN. But the investment is not just in buildings, it's actually in people. What attracted me uh, to come from Oxford um, was uh, being surrounded by colleagues who are extremely energetic, extremely proactive, actually are making the difference. We can push the boundaries and we can, we can push for better science and higher impact. Currently Ireland is ranked number six in the world for nanotechnology and eight in the world for material science. Fully 70 to 80 percent of those citations can be linked back to CRAN. The research that we do is normally somewhat aligned with the challenges faced in industry. The challenge of a new medical device or a new semiconductor chip or how to make more efficient uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients. To ensure we go about that the right way, we have in place professional business development people, IP people, commercialization people and a structured program management office. CRAN researchers have been instrumental in finding a number of startup companies including Adama, Miravex, Salix and Blanc. CRAN works with uh, over a hundred companies. Um, many of them in Ireland, some of them internationally. CRAN has a portfolio of over 20 technologies available for licence. CRAN is also very keen to ensure that we translate that world-class research to impact people's lives. There is a real need to communicate to the general public, to the Irish taxpayer, the value of scientific research. This programme, Magical Materials, that Science Gallery has run with CRAN, has been very popular. We also want to reach out to secondary school students so that they can get an idea of the type of rewarding, challenging careers that a qualification in science can provide. The funding which has come into CRAN from the Irish state over the last decade is really an investment in the country's future in terms of training and the next generation of graduate, but it's also investment in world-class infrastructure that really is a national asset. Over the past decade, CRAN's mission has evolved tremendously. Research is a global competition. It's not sufficient to be the best in Ireland. CRAN must be the best in the world. Over the first decade, what we've done is we've become an institute that has gone from nothing to being an institute which is seen as being competitive internationally. It is a big journey to go from being competitive to being world leading and I think that's the challenge that we face over the next decade.